It is Christmas time, and Brazil's Central Union of Favelas, UFA, a non-profit, is handing out tons of food parcels to the most vulnerable. Poor communities are suffering more than ever. The pandemic ravaged the country's poorest, who have been unable to get work and are starving. Here in Cidade de Deus, or City of God, a Rio de Janeiro favela made famous through a hit film of the same name two decades ago, the Cufa Drive is helping some 200 families. Mara Regis, a 60-year-old favela resident, was all smiles as she opened the food basket she received, but she says it won't last long. This food will last around a week. I live with my granddaughter and a daughter. But now I have two other grandchildren and another daughter who is unemployed staying with me. The number of people facing hunger in Brazil has increased by nearly 75% in less than two years. According to a study conducted by Pensan, a Brazilian research network focusing on food and nutritional security, in 2020, there were 19.1 million Brazilians facing hunger. This year, there are 33.1 million, more than 15% of the population. The campaign aims to collect 25,000 tons of food by Christmas. Organizers recognize this is not enough for everyone in need, but it will at least bring some relief and dignity to many this holiday season. However, the current country's welfare program, which transfers the equivalent at today's rate of roughly 115 US dollars per month for the poorest, still falls short amid rising food prices. The government's aid is insufficient, but it is welcome. All help is welcome, especially for people who live in favelas and have large families. Our donations will not stop, but our goal is to qualify these people so they don't depend on charity. But for now, these kind of handouts are crucial and are likely to make this Christmas a bit merrier for the millions of Brazilians who are facing hunger, the most severe form of food insecurity. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.